My name is Gerhard Hendricks. I'm the director of the Department of Electrophysiology here at the University Leipzig Heart Center. And I'm also the director of the Leipzig Heart Institute, which is the research and development facility of the University of Leipzig Heart Center and the president of the European Heart Rhythm Association. It's really great to see how everything we discussed and we, we constructed, we expected when we did the preclinicals uh, many, many months ago, has been forwarded to become reality for clinical electrophysiology. As the system has been put to, I would say, to the next generation of mapping technology. The Enside Precision System meets the expectations of today's electrophysiology. It's precise, it's reliable, it's accurate, and it's fast. And this is very important when it comes to the, to the demands for today's electrophysiology, especially as we see more and more patients with complex substrate-based arrhythmias. This is really what we need to push clinical electrophysiology forward to a better level of uh, successful case execution. My name is Philip Sommer. I'm the Deputy Director in the Heart Center Leipzig Department of Electrophysiology and um, I'm uh, responsible for the EP labs here at the Heart Center. I think the, the key word for today is really precision as the, as the name of the system already says and um, the stability of the system throughout even a three or four hour procedure. And I think this is really relevant and very important for, for the people, uh, for the operators out there, that they have a system they can really rely on, not only after 60 minutes of procedure, but also after three, four, five hours, after cardioversions, after cuffing of the patient, after slight movements of the patient, that you still have a system which really reflects the anatomical truth that you are facing with during your procedure. The second characteristic to me would be automated. Automap is really one of the great innovations um, that is implemented into the precision platform because it will allow when used properly to really fully automatically generate maps, which is probably the, the key point in many complex arrhythmia procedures. Just by moving the catheter around, we're going to automatically create maps in a really high resolution with a lot of points in a very reasonable uh, time frame. And a third would be fast, uh, because at the end of the day, it's about the procedure time, it's about doing also complex cases in a reasonable uh, uh, time frame, allowing the patient to have a only two or three hour procedures instead of five or six, also for us as the physicians. And I think it's in the interest of everyone uh, to keep uh, the procedures as short as it gets. And I think that the system, and especially um, the features like the AutoMap tool, will allow us to uh, accomplish uh, this issue. We could uh, demonstrate that we had a very stable system throughout the uh, whole procedure. The uh, accuracy of the map was as good as, uh, as it was in the very first minute of the procedure, even after multiple cardioversions and lots of changes in the conditions for the patients like fluid status, sweating, pain, whatever. So at the end of the day, it seems as if the combination of impedance-based information for the 3D mapping system in combination with the uh, magnetic localization of the catheter can provide a stable and reliable 3D mapping system as we need it.